Godzilla? You're not gonna have a brasso with a brasso? Yeah, we're done, we're done with a brasso. How about with the candidate?
We pray for the health of each family member. We remember and pray for those who cannot be with us today. We especially remember and pray for our loved ones, most especially Father Jose Aron, who has gone ahead of us into your kingdom, that through your mercy they are now with you in paradise. Almighty God, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Renewed by your word, we beseech you, Lord, that it may confirm our hearts and steer us to serve you in words and deeds. Lord, guide us all to put our faith into action, to work in love, and to persevere in hope, and to live out the charism of the Chrysidian movement, to make a friend, to be a friend, and to bring a friend to Christ. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen.
and you are probably brought by someone who belongs to a team, and automatically you'll probably be invited to that team to join them in order to nurture your course your experience. And the team is also connected to the, uh, the old trail. We have two old trails. Trail in the Diocese of Oakland is one is in uh, in, uh, the, in Cathedral with Christ the Light every second Saturday of the month, and we have a, uh, an Otrea in the East uh, Otrea, well, East Otrea, and that is at uh, the Queen of All Saints in, in Concord, and we do that every third Saturday of the month. So talk to the person who invited you to this Corsia because all the, they will they will give you all the things that needs to be done in order to nurture the faith, the seed that's sown into this foreseeable video. And uh, there are times that you know, our, our uh, feeling of the foreseeable is dwindling a little bit. But my advice is, as, a, as your lead director, is that always look at your service sheets. You have service sheets? Yes. The, the thermometer yes. of your will. <laughs> So look at the thermometer of your will, and, uh, and then that will really remind you of your foreseeable experience. And so these are just the parting, uh, parting remarks that I can, I can say in order for us to really grow into our faith as foreseeistas, you have discovered this new world. And uh, because we have seen this new world, it is almost unavoidable not to invite other people to join us in this movement. So on behalf of the Filipino Porcillo community, we welcome you to the Porcillo of the Diocese of Oakland. I think I made my Porcillo in 1994, Porcillo number 49 at Salesian High School in Richmond, Decoria of St. Paul. A number of people have already mentioned uh, our beloved Father Jose Arang, and I'm uh, giving the talk that uh, he would normally do at, uh, at the Clausura. Uh, and I mentioned that the opening, you know, that Father Jose Arang is such an inspiration to us and that I think he would have to work harder on this Corsillo weekend than he ever did when he was here with us in, in body. And I think he did, and in fact, so much so that we have his empty chair there uh, today for the ceremony. But Father Rong is definitely with us and helping us uh, uh, through this weekend. And uh, of course, the weekend is primarily helped and inspired by the Holy Spirit. Now, I know my talk was called an inspirational talk, but I have to say that there's not much I could say that could be anywhere near as inspirational as the vision, or I should say the vision, but seeing our new sisters march into this room and the great joy and excitement on their faces. And that's particularly true if you consider the fact that they just spent three and a half days here being sleep deprived. <laughs> In this room right here, most of the time, talk, listening to talks by, well, one boring deacon and two exciting ones. Um, and still, what great joy and excitement they come in front of us today. So that, to me, is the most inspirational thing that we see, as well as what they will be sharing in a few moments with you. I do have a few things, though, that I think are perhaps uh, important to say. Just to give you an idea of what Corsillo is about, for those of you that may not have much experience with it, it is really very, very simple. And Corsillo has the best news in the world. And we're not the only ones who have this best news, but of course it is simply that Jesus Christ loves us. Very simple. And we teach it by the very best means, which is friendship. And we obviously did it in a pretty powerful way, I think, judging from our brand new friends here, our new sisters. is a little bit like being set up in space, in, an, in a spacecraft, right, for the weekend, and being separated from everybody. And within that spacecraft, we have this ideal Christian community, a very loving and forgiving community, 
who uh, just are supporting each other in so many, many powerful ways. And so what happens is uh, our 20 new sisters, 20, 24 new sisters, sorry. That's what the lack of sleep does. Not to mention uh, getting a little bit older. Um, so our 24 new sisters that are here are on, well, on an emotional scale of one to 10, they're somewhere between 15 and 20. <laughs> so when you get them back, take it easy with them, okay? You know, be patient, and certainly let them get some sleep, some good rest. Hopefully most of you are on holiday tomorrow, I hope, uh, maybe not all of you since it's a holiday weekend. And one of the things I told them, because they are on that spiritual high, I said, if we see you on Monday morning down on Market Street holding up a sign that says, repent, we're going to deny we know you. And so what I say to you is if they do that, the FCC is entirely not responsible for the Filipino Garcia community. We also told them, and they're gonna share here in a moment about their experience, but we told them that we have a very strict rule in the Corsillo, which is they are not allowed to thank anyone. But spiritual, uh, spiritual advisors are in fact exempt from the rules. Father, go wrong, taught me that. So I'm allowed to thank people in their behalf. So first off, I would like to thank all the sisters who served so generously and so sacrificially on this beautiful Corsillo weekend. Thank you, sisters, for your wonderful service to us. And next, I'd like to thank, uh, thank my fellow deacons, Deacon Ray Incarnation, who is uh, actually the Filipino Corsillo Community Spiritual Advisor, so he's the advisor for the whole community, and Deacon Noy Twasen. I guess you don't have to, they don't have to stand up. We're the ones that are dressed funny, so. <laughs> Um, and he's not here, but we had another Father Jose with us the whole weekend, Father Jose Peralta, uh, Father JR for short, who sacrificed limited time in the U.S. He's leaving the U.S. near the end of the month. He's here, uh, he's from the Philippines, but studying in Rome. And he spent hours helping our candidates and uh, saying the masses for us and was just so gracious and so kind. And he wasn't even a Corsalista. But even though we may still maybe not officially call him a Corsalista, we know that in his heart and in our hearts, he's a Corsalista. Of course, um, I need to thank our 24 beautiful new sisters. Because obviously, we couldn't put on the weekend without them, but it's not just their presence here that allows us to have this experience, but it is your patience, your charity, and your openness to the Holy Spirit. And lastly, I'd like to thank all of you who are friends and family of our 24 new sisters because you sacrificed not having them with you over this weekend. And I'm sure for many of you, especially if they are, I don't, I don't know if any of them are mothers of children. I see some young children here. Uh, but anyway, I'm sure it was a sacrifice for you and we very much appreciate you loaning them to us uh, for this weekend. And we may have not told you, but the loan is a little bit longer because we're inviting them to be part of the community. Don't worry, they'll still be home with you, but, but they might spend a little bit more time with us now and then. So thank you very much in advance, hopefully for your generosity in sharing them with us. And I think that's all I better say because you want to hear from them. Thank you. Let me ask a question to the sisters. Are you ready to receive your certificate? Yes. Did you pass the final exam? Thank <laughs> you. 
This is not an opinion. As of today, you only remember 20% of what you have learned. By tomorrow, it's probably about 10%. <laughs> but if you forget many of the things, there's one thing I would like you to remember. An answer to the question, and pretend I'm Jesus. Do you love me? Do you love me? Pretend I'm Jesus asking the question, asking of Simon Peter. Or do you love Jesus? Yes! <laughs> Gospel, Christ is counting on you. Yeah. 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 